Hi, it's Adam. I wanted to bring you a challenging spine focus flow today. So moving the spine in all different directions. Uh, just get the body moving. So let's start on all fours. So come onto your hands and knees. Knees right underneath the hips, shoulders on top of the wrists. And we'll just start by swaying side to side. So take it a few moments here. You can start to find some breath, whether it's your ujjayi breath or whatever breath you choose to practice with today. And then we'll find some movement for the shoulders and movement through the wrists, movement through the knees and the hips. And it'll be pretty fluid movement, whatever makes sense to you. We'll take a couple more breaths here. Now come back to your neutral spine. We're going to walk the hands about a foot in front of where they were. Right. So elongating our uh, arms in front of the, uh, the shoulders. And we'll start to find that movement again. A little bit of swaying side to side. Got some more movement now. Some more distance to cover. We'll take a couple breaths here. Maybe push the hips back towards the heels. All right, then pause here. Push your hips back on top of the knees. Now pressing into the hands, start to lift the hips, flare the sits bones, lift the chest, drop the belly, move into this elongated cow pose. Now as we're lifting the hips, flare through the sits bones, almost spreading through the tailbone. Gentle pressure into the fingers to press back. Let the chest drop, lift the gaze, take a breath. And slowly come forward, neutraling the spine. Keeping the hands where they're at, shift forward. Inhale, lift the right arm high. And on the exhale, we'll thread the needle. Right arm underneath the left arm. Hips are high. We're like a melting heart. And you can drop the hips back towards the heels if that feels better. Or stay more lifted like we are now. I'll take some breaths here. And start to roll your left armpit down towards your right shoulder. Just one more breath. And slowly change. Inhale. Let's lift that right arm high. Get some length. And on the exhale, release the right arm down. Second side, shifting forward. Inhale, left arm lifts. Get some space. And on the exhale, threading the needle. Left arm underneath the right. Palm faces towards the ceiling with that left arm. Take a few moments here. Let this left shoulder start to open up. Now, if you wanted to add intensity, start to roll your right uh, um, bicep down towards your left bicep. And gentle press her down. Last breath here. And slowly change. Press into the right hand as you lift the left arm high. And then release the right hand, her left hand down. Come forward, curl the toes, and press into your downward dog. And keep the knees bent as long as you need to, letting the heels melt towards the ground. Putting some more pressure into the hands and fingers, engaging through the shoulders, pressing the hips back. Then maybe let the heels start to melt down towards the ground. And then finding some movement in your downward dog. Pedal the feet left and right. All right, let's lift the feet together. Inhale, lift the right leg high. And then we'll bend the knee, open up, move right into our half scorpion. Pushing down through the right shoulder, lifting the right knee. Maybe gazing underneath the right shoulder. You start to round through the ankle, point and flex to the right toes. Inhale, straighten that right leg. And on the exhale, bring your knee to your right tricep. Hold here. Squeeze the fingers. Flex the toes. Gently step the right foot outside the right pinky finger and drop down to your left knee. Move into our lizard pose. So hands underneath the shoulders. Find some movement here. Rock side to side. If you want to come down to your elbows, make your way down to your elbows. Take a few more breaths here. Now pausing back here in center, let's straighten the right leg, moving into our wide half splits. So rocking back towards your left heel, the right heel is still outside that right pinky finger. So now we have a little bit more movement with the hips that we can play around with. Now wagging the tail, shaking through the hips. 
Keep that constant pressure pulling back with the right leg. Take one more breath. And slowly change, come forward. Plant the right foot, curl the back toes. Inhale, right leg lifts high. On the exhale, step between the hands, forward fold, top of the mat, feet together. Take a halfway lift, inhale. And fold, exhale. One more time, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine, reach the crown of the head forward. And folding, exhale. Soften the knees, inhale, circle sweep the arms high. Once the palms touch, bring the right arm behind you, reach the left arm forward. We'll take a gentle twist from the upper spine. Push your right hip and right kneecap forward. So we're just twisting through the upper shoulders. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push your right hip, one more breath. And change, inhale, both arms come high, square the shoulders forward. Palms touch, we'll twist the opposite direction, left arm back, right arm forward, and press firmly forward through your left hip. Gaze over your back arm. Squeeze through the shoulder blades. Inhale, both arms lift high. And then fold on the exhale. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, left foot steps back, crescent moon pose. Left knee to the mat, right knee is bent. Inhale, arms lift high. And then take a few moments here to settle in. Peaky fingers rotate in towards each other, towards the center line. Left hip is moving forward. Pull the right hip back. One more breath. And on the exhale, hands down to the mat. Curl the back toes. Press back, downward dog. Walk it out. We'll move into our second side. Feet together. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Bend the knee, open up half scorpion. Pressing firmly through that right heel. Lift your left knee as high as feels good for you. But keeping your left shoulder pressing down, you can start to rotate through your left ankle, point and flex the toes. Square the shoulders and hips to the mat. Inhale, lengthen left leg. Exhale, knee to left shoulder, left tricep. Pause here. Flex the toes. Gently start to bring that left foot to the outside of your left pinky finger. And then drop your right knee to the mat. Take some time. Find your movement. Come up under the hands. Come down to your elbows. Whatever depth felt good on the other side. Might be a good barometer for this side. Finding that fluid movement. Moving through the hips. Moving through the joints. Take one more breath here. Those finding movement, pause first, and then we'll sit back on that right heel and take our wide half splits. So we don't need to sit all the way back from the hip to the heel. You can stay lifted like I am now. It gives you a little bit more playfulness with the hips. So maybe finding that gentle sway of the tail, keeping the pressure coming back and down with the left hip. Nice, one more breath. Now as we come out of this, come forward, plant the hands, curl the back toes, three-legged dog, inhale, left leg lifts high. And on the exhale, step between the hands, both feet, forward fold off of the mat. Half lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Inhale, circle sweep the arms high. Right hand's going to grab our left wrist, biceps frame the ears, push your left palm towards the ceiling, inhale. And on the exhale, we'll take our standing half moon pose, pulling off to our right, hips push open to our left. Gaze can come up and over your left bicep. And then change, inhale back to center, switch the grip, grab the right wrist with the left fingertips, biceps back, shoulders down, inhale. And on the exhale, pull off to your left, hips push open to your right. Keep the toes light, engage the glutes, press firmly through that right heel. And change, inhale, draws us back to center. Release the hands, forward fold on the exhale. Halfway lift. On the exhale, right foot steps back, crescent moon pose, right knee to the mat. Inhale, the arms lift high. And we take some time here to settle in. Starting to warm up through the hips, push your right hip forward, pull your left hip back. Biceps framing the ears, keep the shoulders soft. One more breath. On the exhale, hands come down to the mat, curl the back toes, downward dog, feet step together. Now on the inhale, engage your core, inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Holding here in your high plank. Knees can come down to the mat. If you want to find a little bit of movement, you can rock and round through the, the wrists. Start to squeeze through the fingers. 
Now coming back into our high plank, knees can be at the ground or not. Inhale. And on the exhale, lower down, low plank. Elbows frame the ribs. Upper dog or low cobra from here. Lift up, draw the shoulders down and back. Take a breath. Downward dog on the exhale. Well, one more time through that with our breath. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Exhale, low. Elbow squeeze into the ribs. Inhale, upward dog. Untuck the toes, lift the chest. Downward dog on the exhale. Walk it out. Nice job. All right, feet together. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Pause here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Hold it here. Now this time, keep your knee to your tricep, flex your right toes, and we're going to gently kick the right wrist about five times. Two, three, keep the knee into elbow, four, five. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, flex the toes, step between, crescent lunge. Right foot right by that right thumb, feet hip distance apart as you rise up. And then we settle into the hips. Adjust your stance as needed. Maybe walking that back foot forward or back. Try to keep the right toes light. Lots of pressure through the ball of the back foot to push the left hip forward. Nice. Find your breath. And on your next exhale, gentle twist. Left hand comes down to the mat. Plant the left hand. Lift the right arm towards the ceiling. Keeping our crescent lunge legs. Just adding in this gentle twist. I'm pushing firmly through that left palm. Gaze can shift up towards the right hand. Start to engage the right shoulder blade to pull the chest open. Now moving to side plank from here. Spin to the knife edge of your left foot. And then slowly start to pick your right foot up. Place it on the left or whatever variation you want to take today. The bottom knee can drop down for a modified side plank. Or you can maybe lift your top leg. So whatever variation is calling your name. Maybe peace finger wrapping the toes. Finding extension through the hamstrings. Two more breaths, your fullest expression here. Keep that right hip lifted high. If the feet are separated, bring the feet back together first. Right hand comes down to the mat, high plank. Stabilize first, inhale. And chaturanga, exhale, lower down. Up dog, low cobra. Down dog, exhale. Nice job, take a breath. Exhale. Half right, feet together. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Pause here. One more time. Inhale, lengthen left leg. Exhale, knee a little bit higher on the tricep. Pause here. Flex the left toes. And then we'll gently kick that left wrist five times. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee into the chest, pause here, flex the toes, step between the hands, crescent lunge. Feet hip distance apart as you rise up. And then taking about five or so breaths here to settle in. So feet nice and secure, the front toes are light. Feet hip distance, right heel is high to press that right hip forward. Sink deep into your hips, keep the front toes light. Lift the arms towards the ceiling, take a breath. Gentle twist, exhale, right hand down, left arm reaches high. Feel that pressure in your right hand, moving all the way up through the shoulders into your left fingertips. And then back down into your left shoulder blade as you engage and open the chest. Drop the right hip down. We're moving into our side plank variation. Gaze down to your right hand to stabilize your balance. Spin to the knife edge of your right foot. And then we'll slowly bring that left foot on top of the right or whatever variation you like to take. Dropping the bottom knee for modified, lifting the top leg for intensifying. Take some time here, working towards your final expression. Let's see about three more breaths here. Gazing down will help with balance. Gazing up will challenge. Last breath. Let your feet come back together first. Left hand comes down to our high plank. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, lower down. Up dog, low cobra. Down dog on the exhale. 
Nice. Let that breathe here. Take two big breaths. One more time. Breath in. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Pausing in plank. 30 seconds here. The knees can come down to the ground. You can keep the knees lifted. If you want to find movement, rocking forward and back, that might feel nice. Rounding through the wrists, whatever feels good. 20 seconds left. So if you want a little more of a challenge, feet together, lift the right toes off the mat. Maybe finding that movement forward and back. Navel into spine, squeeze the fingers. Now if you're moving, pause, release the right foot. Left toes lift, find that same movement if that felt good on the other side or stay static where you're at. Two more breaths. Now pause your movement, left toes to the ground, take a big breath. And on the exhale, slowly lower down to our bellies. All right, hands underneath the elbows, tent the fingertips. We're gonna take a version of our cobra pose. Exhale. Pressing in the fingers, inhale, slowly lift the chest. Now go into a, a depth that feels good for you. Putting some pressure into your lower back, keeping the elbows bent so you can pull the chest through. Breathe here. Engage the glutes, press the hip points down. Let those shoulders draw down your back. Let's take one more breath. Slowly release down. Gaze to your right arms to your sides and take a couple breaths here just as a recover rock the hip side to side if you built up any tension in your lower back that's not suiting you and then bring the chin back to center hands underneath the elbows second step let's bring our feet about mat width apart this time so we're going to add bent knees as an option for a scorpion pose Okay, so still starting off with our, our uh, seal pose, our version of cobra. Hands underneath the elbows, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Just coming back to where we started. Feel the engagement to the shoulders pulling down. Now, if you want to add a little bit more into your back bend, keep the knees wide, bend the knees, bring the toes together. And then see if you can look back, bring the toes to the back of the head or to that direction. Take a few more breaths here. Pull the chest forward, keep the elbows slightly bent. Gaze up, one more breath. And on the exhale, slowly unwind all the way down. Feet long, arms long, gaze left, arms to your sides. One more breath. Chin to the mat, hands under the shoulders, curl the toes. High plank on the inhale, press up. Now adjusting in our high plank. Let's separate the feet about hip distance apart. Now putting weight into your left hand, lift the right arm, touch your left shoulder, then place it down. Weight into your right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder, then place it down. That four more of that. Right to left shoulder, place it down. Left hand to right shoulder, place it down. Trying to keep the shoulders as stable as you can with the hips. Left to right. And also drop the knees if you need to. Two more. Right to left. Left to right. One more time. Right hand, left shoulder. Last time. Left hand, right shoulder. High plank. Feet close together. Take a breath. Downward dog on the exhale. Feet together. Inhale. Right leg lifts. Exhale, lizard pose, step to the outside of the right hand. This time the left knee stays off the mat as we find our movement. So not as long here as that first lizard we took with the knee on the ground. Just finding some more open movement. And then pausing with that movement, straighten the right leg. We'll take our wide pyramid pose. So right foot is still outside the right pinky finger. Having that more movement with the hips, wag the tail, find the playfulness. Keep the hips tracking back and down. One more breath. Slight bend of that right knee. Curl the back toes. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg lifts high. 
Next, I'll step between the hands. Left foot follows, forward fold, top of the mat, feet touching. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms high. Hands in a heart center on the exhale. Inhale, right knee comes into the chest, one legged Tadasana. Arms down by the sides, pull the shoulder blades down, lift the knee into the chest, lift the right toes. And we'll take a revolved one legged Tadasana. Left hand comes to the outside of the right knee, or you can grab for the knife edge of the right foot. If you have the foot kick out, if you're holding onto the knee, hold onto the knee. Everybody's right arm reaches back. Then maybe the gaze starts to shift back. Press through the ball of the foot, reach to the crown of the head. Try to get as long as you can through the spine. Twist, bring the gaze forward. We'll bring that right knee back into the chest. Both arms lift high. Take a breath. Now on the exhale, crescent lunge. Slowly stepping that right foot back, landing. Arms lift, and then we come back into our crescent lunge. Feel that strong footing, drawing hands in a heart center. Lift through the spine. Keep the spine long, hinge the body forward. Take an inhale, look to the left. And on the exhale, bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Hands are stacking on top of one another. Elbows are stacking, and then maybe pressing top hand of the bottom hand. We'll try to stack our shoulders as well. Gazing down towards that left toes will help with your balance. Gazing up over your left shoulder might challenge it. If you want to open up the arms to find some more depth, open up your arms. Keep that nice twisting sensation from the base of the spine all the way through the shoulders. The arms are extended. Bring the hands back together. Engage your core. Slowly unhook the elbow. Lift back into your crescent lunge. Lots of core, arms lift high. Warrior two on the exhale, drop the back heel, peel open the hips, and sink into the front knee. Front knee is moving to the left. Lots of uh, energy moving into the knife edge of that back foot. Sink deep. Hands come to heart center. Moving into Skandasana. So straightening this front leg, this left leg. The right toes turn out to the side, bending the right knee. And then a hands can come down to support you as you move into this long lunge, opening up through your left hamstring. Shoulder can tuck inside. The right shoulder can tuck inside the right knee. Hands can be at heart. Take two more breaths here. Sink deep into that left hip. Walk through the spine for your last breath. Now you can use hands or your lower body strength coming back into your warrior two. Bend front knee. Nice job, warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Lifting left arm up and back. Right arm reaching down. Get expansive through this left lung. Inhale. Side angle, exhale. Left arm down, right arm high. So be long in the torso. Try not to collapse on this left side. Now listen close. The next inhale, we're going to move back into Skandasana. So that big windmill up and back, straighten the front leg, bend the right knee, sink down. Big breath in. And back into our side angle on exhale. Nice, that big strong transition. Back into your side angles. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Lift up and back. On the exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Move to your chaturanga. Lowering down, inhale, up dog or low cobra. Downward dog in the exhale. Beautiful job, feet together. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, step to the outside of your left pinky. We'll find that active lizard pose. Movement here for the first about 10 seconds. We're rounding through the wrists, rounding through the hips. Take a few breaths. Now, if you're finding movement, pause with the movement, and then we'll straighten this front leg, move into that long pyramid pose. Left hip tracking back, folding over the leg. One more breath. Let's bend the left knee, come forward. Back toe still curled under, three-legged dog, inhale, left leg lifts. On the exhale, step between the hands, right foot follows forward, full top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Soften the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Hands in a heart center. One more time. Inhale, arms sweep. Exhale, hands in a heart. And then left knee comes into the chest. Moving to our one-legged Tadasana. Lift the left knee, lift the toes. And then we'll revolve this, this Tadasana. Right hand grabs the outside of your left knee. Or if you have that flexibility, grab the knife edge of your left foot. Extend the leg if you have the foot. Or hold on to the knee. And then we'll reach the left arm back. Try to stay lifted out of the crown of the head. Engaging through the shoulder blades. Now releasing the foot or the knee. Come back to center. Both arms high. Take your breath. And crescent lunge on the exhale. Step it back. Feet hip distance. Arms lift high. And then take some time to settle in here. Feel the strength of your base. The evenness of your hips. And then hands come into heart center. Lengthen the crown of the head up. And then we'll hinge the body forward. Take an inhale. Feel the length. Look to the right. And on the exhale, twist. Left elbow hooks the outside of the right knee. Top hand presses into the bottom hand. Stacking the elbows, maybe the shoulders. And then bring in your gaze over the shoulder. Maybe down toward your left toes. And then if you want to open up the arms, open up the arms for your last few breaths. Don't let deepening the pose compromise your alignment. So if you open up the arms and you start to hinge, maybe rounding through the spine, maybe come out of this. And wherever you're at, one more breath. Hands slowly make their way back to center. Unhook the elbow. Back into your crescent lunge. Lots of core. Stabilize. Inhale. Warrior two. Exhale. Open up the hips. Feel this nice open lunge. Front knee moving towards the right. Sink deep. Hands make their way to heart center. Moving into Skandasana on this side. Straighten the front leg. Bend the left knee as the left toes turn out. Hands can come down or using your lower body strength to support you as you come down. I'm feeling this big opening to the right hamstring, right groin. Hands can come into heart center. We'll take two more breaths here. There's a lot of different variations of Skandasana, so if you have a favorite one, move there. And we'll make our way back to our warrior two. So hands can come down to the mat or using that leg strength. Back into your warrior two. Depth in your front knee. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse. Feel this openness we're creating on this right side. Compression on the left side. Stay deep in the front knee. Inhale. Side angle. Exhale. Right arm down, left arm high. Now we're transferring that openness to the left side and compressing a little bit more on the right side. But still try to keep that right lung open. Then we have that big transition back to Skandasana. So from our side angle, straighten the front leg, left toes turn out, sink down into your Skandasana. Two breaths here. Find the version that suits you best. Take a breath. And back into our side angle. Right arm down, left arm high. Feel the expansiveness in the chest. Inhale, reverse. And Chaturanga on the exhale, car with the hands down. Option to lift the right leg, maybe bring the feet together, lower down, up dog, low cobra, down dog, exhale, nice, walk it out. Now I just have one more flow to do, and then we'll come down, do a little final stretching. The feet together, inhale, right leg high, exhale, crescent lunge as we step through. Control that step through, right foot by right thumb. Lift up, settle in. Now adding a back bend into our crescent lunge today. So you can interlace the fingers above the head, or you can bend the elbows, bring the shoulders and elbows in line. Whichever version you do choose to take, a little bend to your back knee so you can tuck the hips, get some length into the spine, and start to lift up and back. Stabilize through your base. You might not be able to get as deep in your back bend. Feel that left glute engaged to press forward. Take one more breath. Inhale comes forward. On the exhale, hinge forward, fierce. Pull the right hip back. Extend the arms forward, biceps by the ears. Fingertips are reaching forward. One more breath. Next inhale, launch into your warrior three. Extend the left heel towards the back of the room. If you want to sweep the arms back into your airplane pose, you can sweep the arms back. 
Lower the chest, lift the left heel, take a breath. Half moon. Right arm extends down, left arm extends towards the ceiling. Push through the heel of the right or left foot. Nice, feel that engagement, top, top glute engaged. One more breath. Warrior two on the exhale, soften the front knee. Step down, open up, sink deep. And we'll straighten the front leg, right toes turn in. Open up the chest on the inhale. Wide legged forward fold on the exhale. Hands come down to the mat. If you have an inversion or an arm balance you want to take here, you can go wherever feels right for you. We have a couple more breaths. Maybe this gentle sway from side to side helps. Inversion, start to come back down. Whatever variation you're in, back into this wide forward fold. Walk the hands out in front of the mat. We'll take a little halfway lift on the inhale, lengthen the spine, press the tailbone up and back. And then the exhale, we'll fold back towards center. And let's hinge the body forward, pivot the body forward into a pyramid pose. We're shortening through the stance. Right leg is forward, left hip is back. We'll take a few breaths here. Pressing into the fingertips, pull the right hip back. Now listen close. We're going to move into a figure four downward dog. So we're going to bend the right knee, plant the hands, pick up the right leg, keep the right knee bent, cross the right ankle over your left knee, and press back into a figure four downward dog. Really start to press into that right hip. You can bend your left knee for a little bit more action. Take one more breath. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. You might need to walk the feet back to stabilize. Take a breath. And chaturanga on the exhale, lower down. Up dog or low cobra. Downward dog on the exhale. Nice, right, set the feet together. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Next, I'll step through crescent lunge. Try to control that slow step through, plant the left foot by left hand. Nice, rise up on the inhale and pause. Feel the strength in your base. And the next inhale, let's hinge the body forward. So find that nice long stance here. Pull your left hip back. Biceps frame in the ears. And then we'll move into our warrior three. Back foot gets light. Transfer the weight forward. You can keep the biceps by the ears or if you swept the arms back for your airplane pose, whichever variation fits your practice right now. Drop the right hip, lift the chest. Then getting ready to open up half moon pose. Left arm reaches for the ground, right arm reaches for the sky. And stack your right hip on top of your left. Flex your right toes back towards your nose and press firmly through your right heel. Nice, feel the expansiveness in the chest. And one more breath. Softening the front knee, slowly landing in your warrior two. Take as much time as you need to settle in. Draw your front knee over to your left, knife edge to your foot. Arms expanding wide. And then straighten the front leg, turn the left toes in. Interlace your hands at your lower back. We're gonna take a wide-legged forward fold with a shoulder rinse variation. Reach the knuckles down, lift the gaze up on the inhale. And on the exhale, leading with the chest and the chin, slowly coming forward. And anytime your head's below your heart, it's a good chance to catch your breath. If you want to get upside down at this point in time into an inversion or an arm balance or just some other variation, go right ahead. If you're done with this shoulder rinse, you can bring the hands to the knife edges of the feet and start to pull the chin of the chest down towards the ground. Just a couple more breaths here. And if you're inverted, make your way back down. Still holding on to the feet, release the feet, hands underneath the shoulders. Let's take a halfway lift, lengthen the spine, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, slowly fold back down. And then pivot on the heels, pyramid pose. We're facing the front of the room, pivoting towards our left. Maybe walking your right foot in so both the heels are seated, planted on the ground. And take some breaths here. Keep the left hip tracking back. Right hip is gently pressing forward. Okay, so let the body collapse over this left leg. Left hip is tracking back. One more breath. Now slight bend to the left knee, plant the hands. 
In the short low lunge, lift the left knee into the chest, cross your left ankle over your right knee, and then bending your right knee, maybe walking the hands back into your figure four downward dog. Bending the right knee, press your left knee back. Nice, one more breath. Slowly come back forward into your high plank, adjusting the feet as needed. Nice, strong in your high plank. Squeeze the fingers, press your thumbs, feel the shoulders open up and between the shoulder blades. Take a breath. Then chaturanga on the exhale. Last chaturanga. Lower down. Inhale, up dog or low cobra. Downward dog on the exhale. Beautiful job. Now, if you practice jumping through, you can jump through or come down to your knees, whatever fits your practice best. We're going to make our way onto our backs. So grab it onto your shins. Slowly, let's make our way onto our backs. Find some movement here. A little rounding through the hips. Making sacrum circles with our lower back, maybe one direction. Big, exaggerated circles with the knees. And then the opposite direction. So we did a lot of spine work today. Going to end with the plow pose. So stopping in center. Lift the legs in towards the air. Hands to your lower back. Gently let the hips start to lift up and over your body. And maybe the feet touch the ground behind you. Maybe they stay hanging out in limbo. If the feet aren't touching the ground, keep your hands at your lower back just for little safety measures. And if they, the feet do touch the ground, you can do whatever you like with your hands. Try to feel all that stress, all that tension coming out of your lower back. And you got three more breaths here. And press your toes in the mat if they can reach. You can intensify this stretch for this last breath. And slowly releasing all the way down into a happy baby. Lower back to the mat, grab the soles of the feet, knees outside of the torso. And gentle rock side to side. If you like the extended leg variation of this happy baby, you can start to kick through one leg at a time, both legs at the same time. Find your balance. And then come back to center. Wrap the arms around the shins. Grab for fingertips. Squeeze everything towards your center line. Take one more breath. Squeeze on the exhale. And then release your arms and legs long into your final Shavasana. Find your rest. Eyes can be open or closed. And giving yourself this time to let the practice settle into the body and soften in and seeing how this lands with you in this day. Thank you so much for joining me. Always a pleasure. If you like the videos, hit like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.